What's going on everybody, Josh Pocock here. And in today's video, we are gonna be testing ChatGPT OpenAI's new O1 and O1 Mini versus Claude Sonnet 3.5. We're gonna see what models are the best. These are the top frontier models right now. Let's see how they do against each other. Let's dive right in. Right, guys so here we have chat gpt 01 preview like i said we're going to be doing some tests with cloth sonnet and then chat gpt mini as well so before we get into it i do want to say that if you haven't you know been caught up on the uh 01 01 mini and the new paradigm of kind of these models check out my video down below i did a couple days ago as well as you want me to see want to see me use some of these models in um cursor i did a video yesterday you can check that out i'm going to do more as well so make sure to stay tuned if you are um you know basically long story short is to actually use these models right now through the api you pretty much near it need a tier five um and if you don't have a tier five there are some ways that you can access them too so there's probably other platforms but i do know open router is does have access to the preview as well as the mini as well as if you are on cursor you can access the mini as well um and i maybe the preview i just don't know a hundred percent but yeah those are a few ways that you can access the model through the api now if you are on uh, plus or premium you can access the models but you only get about 50 per or 50 per week per mini i believe and 30 per week per preview so it's very limited also, too, I just wanted to highlight kind of a funny tweet here. And if you're not following me on Twitter, you can check that out. But uh, this is Pony the Liberator and T Jailbreak Alert, OpenAI pwned, blah, 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 F your limits. Basically, you know, we've seen with OpenAI's new model right here that has a lot more safety limits. And long story short, he, you can see in the prompt, he was able to jailbreak it already and get it to basically tell him how to... Um, Great drugs right here meth so kind of funny um because i've seen a lot of people kind of complain about how open ai's new safety is just over the top and whatnot so anyways now that we got that out of the way let's get into these test questions so i've got a bunch of questions here we'll see how many we can get through i don't want to make this video too too long but um we'll see if we can get through as many as possible now we're going to start off with some very basic easy ones and i'm assuming that every one of these should get this correct so we're going to uh, try this front one out. Okay, so what is the capital of Canada? And they both got them right. We can see here Mini gave a bit of a more um, descriptive or a longer answer. And then let's take a look at Claude. And Claude got that right too. So all three um, models pass on the probably the easiest question we got here. Okay, the next question is write a Python function to generate the Fibonacci sequence up to the 10th number. All right, so we're going to run that on both of these models. Okay, and both of them did this fairly quick. Let's just take a look. This one took five seconds for preview, and this one only took a couple seconds for mini. And now we're going to test these out. All right, so here is the output. We got Claude's right here. We got Mini's right here, which is a little bit longer and has some uh, comments here. And then we got previews. Let's go ahead and run these. All right, so to start off, we'll want run the mini. And boom, we get the Fibonacci sequence up to the 10th number. Let's go ahead and run preview. And that passed as well. Now let's check out Claude. Okay, so all three passed again. Okay, next is generate a batch, batch script to create 10 files with the names a1.txt through a10.txt. All right, and we're going to run this. All right, and both of them finished in a couple of seconds. All right, so let's go ahead and test these. Also too, I do want to point out, if we look at chat GPT-01 mini, um, it's a lot more in depth of an answer. It gives pretty much like everything, how to run it, how to verify the files, explanation of the script. And same thing with uh, preview. Preview is actually a little bit shorter. Uh, and then Claude is very short. Okay, so I got the scripts loaded up and now we're going to run these. All right, every single one of these passed. And as you can see, it actually generated the exact same code for all of them. So it's this is, I know these are easy tests. We're about to get to some more challenging ones, but currently they all have passed every single test. Let's get into the next one. So if you multiply the number of days in a week by the number of continents, what do you get? 
Okay, and as you can see, they all got 49. It looks like Mini has been uh, kind of explaining things a little bit more or longer than actually the other two. Like if we look at Claude, pretty short. Um, Preview is actually keeping it very concise and short. And uh, and then Mini just kind of explaining things a little bit more. So currently they're all passed. All right, so next question is solve for X, 3X plus 7 equals 22. Correct answer is, tw is 5. So let's see if they can get it. Okay, and just as I thought, both the O1 Mini and Preview got the answer of 5, and so did Claude. Um, it looks like both O1 Mini and O1 Preview both kind of, you know, explain things a little bit here. O1 Mini seems to be outputting a lot more text um, by default, but let's go ahead and move on to the next question. All right. All right, so here we have a question. A factory produces widgets at a rate that doubles every three days. If it produces 100 widgets a day, how uh, on day one how many widgets will it produce on day 19 please explain your reasoning step by step all right so let's run these okay so the correct answer is 6400 and each one of these claude and both chat gpt 01 mini and 01 preview got this right all right next question is generate an svg of a tree so we ran that and we got the code here with 01 mini and 01 preview as well as Claude. So Claude, obviously we like it because it has artifacts. So I can even see right here, Claude has passed, but let's go ahead and check 01 and 01 mini. All right, so here is 01 mini, which is a pass. And 01 is a pass as well. Um, both of them are okay. I mean, I say maybe 01 minis even looks a little bit more tree-like, but maybe that's just personal preference. Okay, so a pass for all three. Next question is generate 13 sentences that have 10 words and end in the word monkey. Okay, so we're generating, as you can see, O1 preview is actually taking a little bit longer. We got O1 mini generating it in a couple of seconds. This one we see it's rechecking answers and it took 11 seconds. Let's see if it is right. Okay, so they actually all failed. Right off the bat, this one, Claude, uh, I believe has 11 here. This one has nine at the start. And this one has nine as well. And then some of these have like 11, 13. So they actually all failed this question. I do tend to find these models when it comes to like counting words or like doing these simple things. They're not that great, right? At least as of now. But when it comes to maybe solving a complicated math problem, um, they actually can surprise you or they can actually do really well. So kind of interesting. All right. Next question is generate me the Pong game using Python. All right. So we'll start with O1 preview here. Wow. Okay, so this is actually a really nice Pong game. Obviously, it's two players, so we can't really play too well, but it's actually a really good one. It has a score tracker here. It's, you know, has the ball, it has this. So, um, yeah, this one passed. All right, now we'll do 01 Mini. Okay, so it passed too. It's a little bit different. We got a little bit different font up, up top, and there's no split or border in the middle. And finally, let's do Claude. Oh, wow. This is, this is really cool. So I didn't even tell it because I was thinking as I did this, I'm like, ah, Pong isn't like, it's kind of a, not the best game because it's like a two player game. Um, so one thing I'll give, uh, Claude a lot of credit for is that it put a computer to play against me. Now I'm curious if I let it score on me, if it's going to give a point. So I'll give credit to Claude for putting a computer without me even asking it, but uh, you know, they definitely should have a score in it. So you get some pros and cons here when it comes to actually building out the game here, but I'm pretty impressed because most of the models that I, where I've asked to do Pong, it's never given me a, a computer generated um, to play against automatically. So yeah, either way they all pass. Okay, I am an odd number, take away one letter and I become even. Okay, yep, they all got seven, which is correct. Okay, here's the next question. A man stands on one side of the river, his dog on the other side. Uh, the man calls his dog, who immediately crosses the river without getting wet and without using a bridge or a boat. How did the dog do it? Okay, so these are a little bit more reasoning questions, so I'm curious to see how uh, these new models do. Okay, so Minnie got it in a few seconds. The river was frozen, allowing the dog to walk across. And the dog crossed the river because there was ice. The river was frozen. Okay, so uh, Preview and Mini both got it. Let's take a look at Claude. Okay, so Claude got it as well. It broke down the different, um, you know, steps to for its reasoning. And it basically said the river is frozen. All right, we're going to try this one. So you are in a room that has three switches and a closed door. The switches control three light bulbs. 
on the other side of the door. Once you open the door, you may never touch the switches again. How can you definitely tell which switch is connected to each of the light bulbs? All right, the answer is turn on the first two switches, leave them on for five minutes. Once five minutes has passed, turn off the second switch, leaving one switch on. Now go through the door. The switch that is still on and connected is connected to switch one. Whichever one of the other ones is warm to the touch is connected to the second switch. And then the bulb that is cold is connected to the third switch that was never turned on. And all three of them actually got this correct. Okay, the next question is, I left my campsite and hiked south for three miles. Then I turned east and hiked for three miles. I turned north and hiked for three miles. At which time I came upon a bear inside my tent eating food. Which color was the bear? Okay, and the answer is white. The only place you can hike three miles south, then east, then north, and end up back at the starting point is the North Pole. Polar bears are the only bears that live in the North Pole, and they are white. And all three of these models actually got this correct again. All right, the next question is create a landing page using CSS, JS, and HTML. It should be a website for a beauty store that has a header, banner, feature, uh, testimonials, and checkout section. Make it look professional and very modern. Okay, and for the coding, we can see that O1 Mini has been done. It's been really took a couple of seconds. And O1 Preview took 28 seconds. So O1 Mini was done before O1 Preview even started. And as we can see here, O1 Mini put it, looks like it put it all into one file. And then O1 Preview has split it up. So we'll see if how these work. And one thing I really like about Claude is that I don't even have to run this code. I can literally just see in the artifact here that it basically passed. We can see here, obviously it's not perfect, but we have our glow up beauty store right here. We have the feature section, testimonial section, bestseller section to check out, shop, testimonials, features. So pretty cool stuff. You know, one downside with the new O1 models right now is that you can't, you can't do image. It's just text. So you can't upload images or whatnot. So when you're using Claude, it's good because you can upload images and say, Hey, make something that looks like this. For now, you can't do that with O1. I know we'll get there probably fairly soon, hopefully, as long as OpenAI doesn't take forever to ship new uh, features and whatnot. But um, yeah, that's just one thing right there. All right, so here is O1 Mini. We got Beauty Bliss. So it actually used some icons here. We even used uh, <laughs> testimonial images here. So I definitely would say like, I mean, they all even Claude's looked pretty good too. So I mean, I, I'll give some pointers to um, O1 Mini though for actually go, kind of going the extra mile here and getting some images, which is pretty cool. Okay, now here is O1 uh, Preview. So Beauty Store, you can see here products, um, customers, testimonials. I mean, none of them are really like amazing looking, but uh, honestly, I would probably say. O1 Mini or Claude's was pretty nice. I do like how Claude has the scrolling testimonials here. And all in all, I like how obviously you can see it in an artifact. But at the end of the day, they all pass. All right, guys. So we did about 15 que or 14 questions here. All in all, I mean, they all pretty much pass everything except for this right here. And I've seen different variations of people asking um, like, hey, how many words are in this answer? Like, for example, like, let's try how many words are in your answer here. Okay, so I've seen this and uh, this question fail before with um, some of the open AI models like uh, how many words are in your answer here? My answer contains exactly six words. So O1 Mini actually got it right here. Uh, O1 Preview said this answer contains five words. And then for some reason, Claude out of, out of nowhere just said 15, which I, I mean, I haven't, I wouldn't expect it to get it that wrong. I don't know if that's just a one off situation, but I guess if we want to. If one more test question on here, um, we would give the O1 mini model and the O1 preview a pass and Claude a fail for this. So all in all, I mean, these questions, obviously, they're not perfect. They're not super in-depth or crazy questions like maybe some of the other uh, questions that, you know, OpenAI is doing tests on or anything like that. But um, all in all, I think you have to actually start using these models yourself for real world situations. I'm going to be doing more videos on using them with cursor, using them with AI coding. I did a video yesterday and I will say, cause I got some people asking, okay, what do you prefer for actually coding? Uh, Claude Sonnet's faster for just in general. So on the day to day, like for the dev experience, um, right now I would say Claude Sonnet's better for just like, if you want to get through things quicker. Now I haven't fully got to experience like everything, the the beauty, I guess, that, you know, supposedly is, you know, behind O1. 
um i would say that from what i've seen so far i'm i am definitely impressed but um you know so in, in terms of using it for harder questions which you know may uh, need more reasoning i'd say that's where i would focus on using o1 um preview for and then o1 mini is good just for faster stuff that still want, needs some sort of reasoning and um yeah all right guys so in total all three of these models are really good um all of them failed that one test right here and then for some reason claude failed the last test pretty badly so i guess i'll give the winners to uh, o1 preview and o1 mini but i still really like claude sonnet 3.5 and I do think it is interesting how these models can get questions that are a little bit more complex, correct, and then specific like questions where you know we may think, oh, that's a stupid question or that's a very easy question. It can completely fail and hallucinate. And uh, yeah, I do see that in coding as well. Like for example, if I'm styling a specific element and I just want to do some basic styling or something that's fairly simple, that's when I'll actually tend to get these models starting to hallucinate. And I've, I've got that with Claude Son at 3.5, O1 Mini, O1 Preview, all these models um, to this day, I've got where they will hallucinate for some stupid styling issue that is actually very simple when, when they can actually code out something that's a lot more intricate and complex and they don't have any issues. So other than that, guys, if you want to stay up to date with me testing these models more and doing coding projects and teaching you guys everything that I learned, then make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. We upload videos every day on AI, automation, business growth, etc. And if you want me to make any videos on any specific topics, let me know in the comments down below, guys. If you're new to the channel uh, and you haven't already joined our free community, stridecommunity.com, check out our free Facebook group, free Discord channel. Links in the description down below. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.